Bennington Show, the only father-daughter radio show in the history of radio. I'm Gail Bennington. I'm Ron Bennington, and uh, what a football weekend. Now, topping it off with a big football night. Gail, I know you're not a big college fan. I'm not. So yours will just be just gut reaction. Yes. LSU or Clemson? Clemson. Ooh, exciting. And that's how you know it's real, because it's pure. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like I have any knowledge of it. Hmm. It's intuition right there. Me this was a very exciting uh, football weekend, though. Yeah, man, uh, that uh, stupid Kansas City game, uh, that comeback was so ridiculous. It was shocking, and yeah. if you like to see touchdowns, yeah. there was a lot of them. You know, uh, <laughs> I stay in, in touch with a, a lot of my friends by text oh, that's nice. over the course of this. And quite frankly, I was even thinking our football one that we have with Johnny, mm-hmm. we should probably add a couple more names to him. Really? Know? Yeah. Really get it going. Well, yeah, because he's fired up and you guys have a tendency to go away as the yeah, game goes I'm, on. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm not the best at it, but I do try to expe- express myself through funny gifts that I think you'll enjoy. Always do. So I make up for it in quality. No, no doubt. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, you need somebody who's play-by-play with you and Johnny. Right. Because I had Fez on a different one, and then he said to me, uh, I I hate these games. You wait all the time, and then they're over so fast. And he said that when it was 24 to nothing, right? <laughs> right. And I'm like, oh, all right, the worm is going to turn now. Mm-hmm. And uh, it did. And I just <laughs> wish there were more people. I know. You know, they hear him yeah. say that. He doesn't often get along with Johnny because Johnny teases about his favorite teams rather than, yes. you know what I mean? You know, he has a certain way about him, that right. Johnny. He likes to get under your skin. He's got yeah. a little brother vibes about him. Uh, I mean, the second that the Eagles won and we're going to go into the last game of the season, he, I just get this text, Giants are going to be the spoiler. And I'm like, I don't, I don't need to think. <laughs> like, can shitty. I have a moment in the, in the sun? That's a troll. A troll does that. <laughs> It's a troll. Uh, speaking of trolling, how'd you do over the weekend? I went one in three, Ron. The mm. only game I actually uh, hit was the Kansas City Chiefs game. How did Vito do? He went three and one. Woo-hoo! Ooh, Vito's the hot hand. Yeah, he has been really this whole season. And yeah. Chris, honestly, this week has been on brand for you. Well, last week I was three and one. That uh, that made me feel good and bold. And then I was just you brought back to her. <laughs> you no, gotta I stay. Know, I know. It's about this week. This week one. And this three. week you stunk it up. Uh, Earl, how did you do? I believe I went three and one as well. Earl, I believe I'm. You might be fucking wrong. went zero for zero <laughs> because every zero. one of your fucking picks that you gave were the wrong spread. You I, gave the wrong spread for every <laughs> single. I went through I, cbssports.com. All right, Earl, I'm going to explain it to you. If the Niners were giving up seven points, you said the Niners were going to get seven points. And you did that every game. You don't know how to say the spread. The, the, the 49ers were fucking seven dog, seven point underdogs at home. That doesn't make fucking sense. Earl, why did you make every fucking pick wrong? I don't know the spreads. I I went on some bad intel and some bad advice. Nobody nobody would say the wrong thing. You don't know how to say who's getting and giving points. You're a 58 year old man, and you watch sports every day. You know sports. sports. How do you not know who's getting and who's giving? You don't have to be. You You don't have to be a gambler. You know who the favorite is and who's not. Why would the Seahawks be the fucking favorite against the goddamn fucking Packers? Why does it make sense? I think sense? because it was on stories, we don't have it, right? It you might be saved. I'll, I'll bring it. See if we can save it. Yeah. Because when I was looking at it. Mm-hmm. Now, you um, knew right away that the, it was off. Any human being would. Mm-hmm. Any earthling would say th- exactly what Chris just said. They're not, you're not going to have the team, <laughs> the better team, playing at home. 
and then giving fucking points to a right. worse team who's come into their house. I couldn't believe it when the first fucking pick came out of his mouth. Like, well, that's wrong. And then every other one was wrong after it. Because he doesn't know how to read the fucking spread. I apologize that I'm not a degenerate gambler, but... You um, don't have to be a degenerate gambler to just know the under... The fucking home team... You What's don't, wrong, Chris? It's just frustrating because not only did he get it wrong... And he's giving bullshit apologies that mean nothing. I'm acknowledging that I don't know, I Chris. Why are you getting all bent out of shape? I I'm acknowledging it all. How upset Chris is by this. I've never seen this before. He's so angry. It's like it's making him itchy. It's like he's itching at his skin because it's making him so upset. Yes, he is. He's very itchy right You've now. You've been alive for so long. Much longer than me. <laughs> what did I just tell you? I just said, I don't know a thing about it. I am acknowledging <laughs> this. And <laughs> Then why did you say I want to be part yeah. of this? And, but the thing is, and this is a problem for you as a, a producer, all you have to do is a little research. It's right there for you. I, again, I... Did you watch theirs? Because maybe that could have tipped you off. No, I did not see that. theirs. That, that, was, that was a problem. I didn't see theirs. No, that uh, wouldn't be... I don't have to see Vito's to know well, fucking who has fucking plus you, seven and who has minus seven. I'm just saying if he was so and lost, perhaps... There's literally a minus sign when you go... <laughs> To look up yes. the line. That's the really fucking confusing thing. The funny thing is, like, he was killing with it. That's why he thinks he went three and one. I know. He picked the upset because he gave... <laughs> <laughs> the only person that picked the fucking Titans. Earl, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I acknowledge that. I just said, I don't know It doesn't know seem, to do. seem no. like you're ducking it. it seems I'm not like ducking you're, it. You're, you're acting like your line was the best line. This falls back into his lying shit because but if you notice, I well, well, I let said, me finish let, now. No, you won't. You're throwing all this stuff at me, right? And the first thing out of my mouth was, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Why wouldn't you? You're a man <laughs> who watches sports. That's I don't gamble, I don't, I don't watch escape. lines and this, that, and take the over and take the points. Every and this, sports that, and fan wants to know who's picked to win this week. And you you know don't even have to bet on it. I just it. go, like, who's going to win, who's going to lose? I don't go by how many points. I just go, like, I think this team is going to win. I think you know this that you win lose. by points, though. I know right. they win by points, points, but I don't care about like, whether they win by one or by 100. I don't care as long as they win. So you're a money line guy. You're only betting the money line. <laughs> Why didn't you say <laughs> yeah. that you're a money line guy? Here's the thing. I mean, you didn't get a chance done. to finish what you wanted to say. So he threw out a lie. He said he got bad intel. Right. That's a lie. Because if he got correct intel, he's just illiterate in reading the well, intel. No, I, well, well, illiterate. Well, let's, no start, wait, let's go the, back. I said I went by. You said I had the wrong point spread. Like I went by CBSSports.com. If they gave a, if that they was bad intel. not, Earl. They did not. If, the line, if I read a wrong line of you what you were going not, by... You had the points correct, but you were giving them to the wrong team. Okay, and I acknowledge that I don't know well, you that. Didn't, you were just saying that that they might have had bad intel. You know? <laughs> now, here's what makes me upset, Gail. Look around here. Chris Stanley made the studio his bitch today. He you did. Know what I mean, he's I mean had, he came in this here. This should have been a knockout day for him. <laughs> it's my little filthy bitch <laughs> But now I got to deal with fucking Earl lying and making Wait, shit up. I mean, about, lying you know, and making stuff up. Earl, I mean, Earl. All right, I'm going to bring something up because it's a fucking lie. He, yeah. It's a lie that he doesn't gamble mm. and doesn't know spreads. Remember something from a few years ago called Mr. Perfect when oh, he was fucking... Yeah. Yes, and I, I, made, and I picked one football. game. I picked one game. And with the line. I picked one game. Did I know what I was doing? I acknowledge that. I was like, you know what? You said I acknowledge a lot. I, I said... Back then, he didn't yell, I don't know what I'm doing. He felt very <laughs> confident in himself, and he was walking yeah, because I can't Mr. Perfect. like he was on top of a fucking it's cloud. It's another fucking lie that he yeah. doesn't know what a spread is. It's one after another. No, plus you know, seven and this, that, and the other. I just want who wins, who loses. There's just plus seven and minus seven. <laughs> We're not That's not over. that difficult. This, that, and the other, though. You're yeah. getting betting. No, this, that, and the other. <laughs> We're not asking you to do this, that, and the other. The thing is, and, and Earl, everyone else on the show seems like they can do it easily, but you can't tell who's getting the points and who's giving the points. <laughs> and you know what? It was funny to me, but the lies that came in after the uh, No, fact. Ron, it was never funny to me. I just was filled with rage watching that fucking video. And then for the you lies, rage that I'm, I was somewhat correct or some uh, how could correct? you be correct? Your picks the teams. are moot. The teams, the I, I, I could I pick always the turn team. around and give the favorite team an extra touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the way the teams I love the correct. gamble. <laughs> the teams were correct. Well, I don't know. I don't even remember what I picked. But the teams were correct. I just screwed up the Why lines. I acknowledge you, that. You didn't this, get the right teams. This is your job, and you should know whether you were what you came into at the end of it. <laughs> it's your job. You had one job. Pick four fucking games. And you, you somehow fucking made everything just crazy nonsense with your fucking picks. Did I pick the correct teams? We don't know, dude. <laughs> <Either> credit, <laughs> Did, yeah. I correct the correct Did I correct it? First of them? all, anyone could pick the fucking home team favorites without the line. That's the that's why we don't do it without the line. This is ATS against the fucking spread. It's the way the American game is played. I mean, again, I, I um, I'm again. owning up to the fact that I, first no, again first words you I never acknowledged. Mouth. You never acknowledged. You just it. scramble and lie. I mean, scramble and lie. The first words out of my mouth was, "I don't know what I'm doing." No, that's not true. This is the first week that you yelled that. Every other week, you were able to do it correctly. Did he open his? Best when, I like picks, I when I made the picks, I don't know what I'm doing. When I made the picks last week, I said. <laughs> I picked just teams, and he yelled at me because I well I didn't get the spread. I didn't even get the true. lines. That's just I'm like true. I picked teams. Oh, that's right. He forgot. Yeah, he forgot. Well, you basically did the same thing this week. You're giving the fucking no, favorite. The I points. picked teams, and then I got crap for not like going with like what well, plus or minus or whatever. You want to be taking off this I, so close to the end of the year. <laughs> You want to be taken out? I hate, hold on. I hate that he says plus or minus or whatever because he obviously knows it's Everybody plus would. a number, minus a number, <laughs> not whatever. There's no fucking overs, unders, there's nothing. There's no props. It's the fucking basic fucking bet. Take what team at what fucking point spread? Either plus I or mean, minus. I mean, this is something that Chris enjoys, Vito has enjoyed. You have hurt that for I that. Mean, You've yes, taken I mean, that away from that. Yeah. Look, I love Lockdown. Was it a good season? No. It was right. dreadful. It was really bad. Worst. I can admit that. But you didn't lie. I never lied. Every yeah. fucking pick was the correct spread, <laughs> and it was a fucking actual true fucking thing I thought. Like, Would I it be thought, better if yes. you lied? No, Ron. No, I don't want to be like girl. I don't want to make shit up and then fucking lie about bad intel. Let's go to Tyler in Atlanta. Hey, Tyler. Chris Stanley, what's up, bruh? What's up, bruh? Great phone. I have a tally mark of how many times Earl says the word again, and when I get to 100, I'm going to drive my car off the bridge. <laughs> again, 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 oh, again, again, oh, again, 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 People have noticed that you do say it again. I have to say it again because I'm saying the same things over and over again, and I have to repeat it because somehow it doesn't resonate. No, hold on, Earl. I'm bringing up valid points, and you're just repeating yourself like a goddamn That's broken true. record. Points. That is true. He because is because the first thing I. <sighs> what is it? Because the first thing I said was I, I don't know. I, I said I have no idea, and I just I just. <laughs> Why wouldn't you have some idea by your age? Because you're I don't guy gamble. Who, you watch the sport. You don't have to gamble to know what the line is. You don't have to gamble to know You're not whether, a gambler. No, I'm not a gambler. And every week you read the line because you want to see if your team's favored or not. Exactly. And they go, oh, they're not going to fucking blow us out by 13, this fucking thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you get emotional about it. I, I go by who wins or loses. That's all I care about. Well, but this I mean, is... that's what the NFL does. And, and by the way, there's not anything to care about. To care about it would be whether it's a good game or not. Do you know whether yeah. the fucking Yankees would win in seven or th five? Does that matter to you? Of course yeah, that, it does. Yes, that part of it, absolutely. But well, that's one of the things you... people bet on. Okay. Well, you're, the only reason for that, there's no official reason for that. The only re reason is because people bet on that. That thing that you call the toy costs every week. <laughs> Do you realize <laughs> people bet on that? Every week he says toy costs. It's unbelievable. I can't believe it. I have his picks if you want to listen to them. Yeah, That's please. Okay. This is from over the weekend. This is EMX. Things didn't go uh, quite as planned last week. Huh? But as they say, you win some, you lose some. Here's this week's NFL playoff picks. Take the 49ers, plus seven. The Titans, minus nine and a half. The Chiefs, plus nine and a half. And the Seahawks, minus four and a half. You can't keep a good man down. All power to the people. All right. First of all, 
you have this character who's like the scary jail guy, right? Mm -hmm. Why would you start with an apology? <laughs> Why would you say it didn't go the way we want it last that's week? Not the, 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 the takeover didn't go quite as planned. But that's not what that guy would do. You know what I mean? The first week you did it, it was great. It was a scary black guy in prison. <laughs> Everybody loved it. Like you know what guy. I mean? It was great. This week you're, you're backpedaling. Oh, I made some mistakes. Then, you, <laughs> now, the points. <laughs> let's say the Titans, for example. Did you really think that they were going to give up nine and a half to what was being described as the best team in football all year long? Wouldn't that have been a crazy bet? I Again, I, I just thought you just I, said, I it said it. You just said again. Why? Worry now, I'm Tyler. just saying to you, and you didn't because you never answered this before. When you made that statement, the Titans minus nine and a half, did it seem odd to you that they would be nine and a half points in the bucket before the game even started when they're playing against the MVP at home with all that speed? It's one of the best offenses all time. This is time. one of the biggest fucking upsets in playoff history. And weirdly, even with the line, even with you giving up points, he won it. Even giving up points, he was able uh, to win it. Yeah. This fucking made up bet. Mm -hmm. What bookie did you go to? <laughs> I don't know any. That's my point. I don't know <laughs> bookies. I don't gamble. Well, you all know that you've made that statement over and over. The fact is, any man would know just by logic. You're, you're paying attention to what you're doing, right? At no point did a light bulb go off with you. Why did you say that? You pick the uh, Titans minus nine and a half. Why would you say that? I, I, I said it. I misspoke. And I but, said, I thought I was on. I don't know. I, guess, I, don't, I don't know. See, I thought because I knew it was going to. I th didn't think it was going to be a 10 point. They won't win by at least 10 points. Um, the, the Ravens. I thought it was going to be a tight game. I, right. But you went and gave the Ravens <laughs> nine and a half points. So the yeah, Ravens I, were winning the game nine and a half. I got nine. I got the lingo wrong. I got the language wrong. But it's no, you, the language was hit. correct. <laughs> the words were all correct, technically. But it was the spread. Well, you lied about the, the spread yeah. again. You, was it nine and a half? Okay, I went by CBSSports.com. Okay. Stop bringing them up. They'll, we'll be sued by them. We cannot use the word CBS Sports and say that they give out they these guys. They probably gave the correct yeah. spread. I They'll hit imagine. us with a fucking cease and desist so quick, girl. I didn't know if the line changed or didn't change. I didn't know. I went by what I saw. The fucking Ravens bus would have had to crash into a fiery mess <laughs> for that to happen. They've served their 20-point swing in a football game over the course of a week ever. <laughs> Again, how, how, again, again, Earl, you lie and then you scramble I mean, I, okay. to, to fucking what the, uh, Earl, fix I'm the lies. I'm fine with you lying. I have no problem with you lying. I'm a fan. Earl, you're breaking you equipment. I'm not breaking thing. equipment. Earl, I'm just, just trying not don't, to say. I'm just, don't, don't touch the it. The first things I said out of my just mouth. Just handy to the mic. Just don't touch it, Earl. Don't start smashing that microphone. We don't go over to Hard Rock and start smashing the fucking mm, plates. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> Sliders. <laughs> <laughs> Earl, are we doing GPS this week? Doing it next week. Next week. Okay. Yes. Is that a lie? If it's a lie, you got no, me. No, it is not a lie. We're doing it next week. I bet I come in here tomorrow and we're doing it. <laughs> He's going to start giving you spreads on GPS. You know what weeks mean, right? I know that you don't, <laughs> you don't make calendars, but you know the difference between one week and another. Yes, we're doing uh, it next week. Earl lies every time he speaks. You got busted today, buddy. B Let's let it go. B busted how? I b what do you, why? Okay. The, the, it's, busted, one, it's one busted thing. How though, Chris? It's one thing to you fucking. You never once explained what your yeah, beef what was. Yeah, what is the problem exactly it's with one, getting them all wrong? It's one thing to lie, but to not realize you lied and, you and say Chris, no big deal Chris, when you're just giving out these Chris, fucking picks that people depend Chris, on. What did I say at the beginning? You said you got some bad intel. I said I didn't know what I was doing. That's a lie, Earl. What you're saying is you didn't take the time you to said, do your job. If you said, first you said I had the point spreads wrong, and I said, okay, if I, that's where I said I had bad intel. If I read a bad line sheet, 
then that's my fault. And, and okay, I didn't go by your sheet or whatever. You know, I didn't go by that lump. There was line. no difference between the sheets. Yes, I read it. And I read it, and I went with it. And I, and if it was wrong, I was wrong. I am wrong. If it was wrong, I was wrong. If Again. if it was wrong, why don't you just say, "I don't know shit about sports spreads." And that about, I thought I did. It's me. Why yeah. are you yelling at me? Wait, wait. You, how would you think that you did? You just explained to us that you knew nothing about it. You said again and again. I've told you guys I knew nothing about it. Now you're saying you thought you did. This is the kind of reason where people end up doing 20 years in jail. Yeah. When I, 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 they're being interviewed and they change their story yeah. constantly. Got to have consistency. Earl, why don't you do it this way? If picking you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Earl has the consistency of my shits. <laughs> That's not consistent at Ew. all. No, Ron, it's not. <laughs> you are right, Chris. Your your picks were consistent this year. <sighs> oh, See, he's fuck, getting fuck you. You, you want to fucking? He got you, at least Chrissy. I got the fucking base. Fucking, I got the information correct to give people my fucking now, Chris, thoughts. That, no, have, one reason, Chris, because you yeah. care about your job. That's, that's right. no reason to brag. I care, Ron. Earl doesn't, obviously. Earl just fucking steps steps in front of a fucking chain link fence and fucking talks gibberish for 30 seconds and says, ooh, I did a good job. Yum. That's what he fucking says. He does? You know what Earl's new theme song is? What's that? Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ee, wada, bada, bing, bang. I don't know. I just want you guys to get along. That's the only thing I ask. Yeah, I would love that's that. all he wants. I would love to be able to get along, but if Earl keeps lying like a fucking dick, it's he's not going to happen. Lying like a dick or lying like a rug? <laughs> he's a dick and he lies. Let's let Vito decide which one of you is right. Okay. Vito, you've had enough opportunity to listen to your two co-workers mm -hmm. discuss this, this. You don't really, I wouldn't say that you're a fan of either one of them. Am I correct with that? <laughs> no, I hate so, them both. So that makes him an impartial <laughs> yes. judge. So judging on the facts and the facts only, who was right and who is 100% wrong? Judging on the facts... I gotta go with Earl being wrong because oh. if you look at point systems, I didn't know what points were one day. Somebody told me what they were, and I figured it out pretty easily. And now I've been crushing the sports betting game ever since. Yeah. It's not a difficult concept. It yeah. really isn't. Um, just the plus and the minus thing is the um, kind of lays it out. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah that I gives get it. An plus means that they are not favored. Minus <laughs> means they're favored. See, it's it's confusing at first because you would think minus is a negative, but here he's it's breaking not. it down for you, Earl, pretty easy. Earl, you understand now. And even he's relating to you and saying he thinks what you did was wrong. But here's the other thing, Vito. Do you think Earl made an honest mistake or completely lied? I think he completely lied, and I think he doubled down on it when he started blaming the Viacom slash CBS company. Please don't even bring them up again. <laughs> I'm sorry. They've been on through enough gambling problems this year. <laughs> Finally, Vito and I can agree on something. Earl's I know. a fucking liar. I mean, you know that this is real because the two of them are never a united front. No. And you know what? there's another lie that Earl threw out. It was last week that I noticed. Hmm. So last week, I went to go get you coffee, Ron and Gail. Mm, thanks. And then I came back up, and then Earl said something like, they hook me up there at the coffee place. Yeah. Yet, I got there, they got the coffee, brought it back up in the same exact time, yeah. Earl gets the coffee every single day. And more evidence, Vito went down to get coffee the next day, same exact time. Which leads me to believe Earl lies about getting the about, hookup? About getting the coffee where, where, Was there a line? Yes, there was a line. Because when there's a line, they see me and they give, they give me the number two. They go, two? Ew, me. they give you the number two? They, no, they, just, like, they just go like two. Don't let two them shit in my I, coffee, please. I, you know, I go every day. They see me every day. Okay. And they go, two? And I'm like, yeah. And Can I tell you something, Chris? Yes. Unlike you, yeah. Earl's been doing the most darling thing. That is he attempted to pay the tip out of his own pocket? I, yes. Where you never did. And Earl, I did. Do you think I covered you or you need more money? You more than covered me, Ron. Thank you. Maybe he doesn't pay the tip then. That's what I was wondering. I is, I was there does. a difference in 
when they brought back the chain from when Earl brought One hundred percent. There was a difference. Chris uh charged this extra money and that's why I'm like, Wait, I what does see. it cost this? And then Earl told me, Well, I pay the I give them two dollars which he tried to say, No, 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 it's the way they treat me, not you. Right. And I go, That's very sweet, but you wouldn't even be down there. True. I don't want that cost them two bucks a day. Uh this Chris is, Stanley wouldn't give me the fucking sweat off his balls. I, I'd give you that and more, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> more than the sweat? What else? See, what's going on here? Uh, I, John Tolman said this. Okay. Chris telling Earl he doesn't know shit about sports spreads is pretty ironic. <laughs> Look, I know how to read the fucking spreads. Ed said this. Again, Chris picking five <laughs> games right this season. How is he angry at Earl? Um... <laughs> Chris says he would love to get along and ask Earl, why are you yelling at me? How delusional can he be? You're losing this in the in the popular fucking vote out there. Surprise that yeah, people are taking uh, Earl's side over this. Earl lies. He doesn't know what he's doing. You're repeating, though. And uh, to my other point, I bet Earl doesn't tip anyone when he goes to get coffee. I don't believe that. You think he, he's not giving any tips? I think he's not giving any tips. You never give any tips either when you're voting. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we've worked this out where I think we're in a place that we all agree. Yeah. You know? I think we're so. all on the same page.